Good day, friends and subscribers. How are you? Welcome, everyone, because you clicked at the right time and at the most precise moment to enjoy this new video. Thank you for being here. Well, uh, guys, today we are going to try uh, to unlock this device for all networks because Apple has already released its new software version iOS 26.1 yes that version came out last week and we are going to try to unlock it with a with a turbo sim right but as usual as is always customary uh, here on my channel we are going to check that the device is locked right so uh, we are going to insert a sim card okay to uh, test it and and show you that the device is definitely locked so it cannot be used uh, with a different carrier here well, the signal bar has already loaded, so we need to continue. And there, on continue, it should give us the famous uh, lock message. Here it is. It's locked. I'm going to try again. I like to check this several times. So you can see there are no tricks. No, no, no cheating. And that everything is completely real, right? No fake, uh, be real, um, no fake. Well, as you saw, indeed the device is locked, right? So for that, we are going to use, well, the typical uh, unlocking cards. In this case, well, I have here what is an RSIM club. I have a high card, right? And I also have an MKSD Ultra, right? So let's try to unlock it, okay? First, we're going to try an RSIM club here. This RSIM club uh, is used, guys, to unlock all device models, right? It's very good from the iPhone 5S, iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus models to the newer models that have a SIM tray. Here, well, I place what is the mm, card with the SIM card. <laughs> we have to wait for the menu to appear okay there is the menu okay for those who have um, for those who have uh, iphone models from uh, the xr the 11 pro max uh, the 11 pro max and below use option number one uh, for those who have uh, iphone models uh, 12 uh, uh, use option number four okay so let's choose option number four and now we are going to choose the original carrier of the device, which in this case, the original carrier of the device is T-Mobile. Uh, we use TM, T-Mobile and Accept. Now, well, the card has to do its job, right? There are some devices that require you to uh, turn them off. Why? Well, so that the method works for the method to function you have to do it we'll see if uh, in this case well it needs to be done with me right here as you can see the signal is failing me right but for this it is necessary to activate data roaming because if you do not activate data roaming you will not have internet in theory the method should already be working for me here right but but uh, but uh, that sometimes the method works sometimes it doesn't here well it's a miracle it's working huh as you can see it is working right i mean the internet is working we need to test if the device can make calls we'll see here, as you say, 
I already lost the signal, the call didn't go through, this means uh, the method is still not stable. Let's try again to see if we can make a call. If we can't call, we have to do a, a, a trick that might also work for you. In, the, in this case, what we are going to do is we are going to send a command to turn off the device. Uh, this is not in all cases, but if it happens that you can browse the internet, even though it shows the theta is activated or maybe uh, it doesn't let you make calls, you can do this trick, okay, of turning off the device and uh, turn it on so that either the internet or calls can work. So I was I always respond to this in the comments. They always ask me these kinds of questions, like this scenario that has happened to me. And this trick works for the internet and works for calls. So now we have to wait that the device uh, uh, manages to stabilize the signal with the RSIM club that we just uh, just installed. So we have to wait. We'll see if the method works. Okay, uh, let's turn off the Wi-Fi. We see Nesh will need to turn off the Wi-Fi and uh, in theory, it should work. Well, okay, we will check to see if that is completely true. Okay, let's try uh, browsing the internet. there it is a browsing the internet okay no i know we are going to try a call again the call does not does not want to go through the call doesn't want to go through okay the signal is stabilizing for now Okay, let's analyze uh, it again. Let's see if it works this time. Okay, not yet. It doesn't allow making the... The aforementioned call. Okay, now... Yeah. Let's go to cellular network. Let's go to options. And here in options, let's go to voice and data. Let's turn this off to see if with this, well, the signal manages to stabilize for calls. Let's, let's check it. It doesn't allow calling. Okay, let's call a regular number. Let's try calling a number. Let's see if it manages to call. No. Okay, then let's go into SIM applications, dash in settings. Let's use option number two, which is activate SIM signal. Let's, okay, let's do this to see if with this it manages well, it can make a call. Let's still wait for the signal to stabilize. Okay, let's try again. Now, yes. Welcome to the NA call center. It is our pleasure to assist you. There it is. I just had to reactivate the signal. Okay, let's try. Uh, oh, there it is. Radu, right. Okay, we already tested with the RSM club. Yes, these are unusual scenarios that can happen to you when you do these releases, right? The configurations also vary depending on the model of, of iPhone. Yes?
that also has a lot to do with it believe it or not right let's try using an mksd ultra oh, with this method now let's see uh, well i think uh, with all the adjustments we've made from the start uh, it should no longer uh, give us uh, problems for activation right let's put it in we already have it ready and and we do this we wait for the mksd ultra menu to appear we proceed to configure here in the menu i recommend that you use the third option 5g auto mode uh, now the original carrier of the device which is t-mobile and accept with this it should be able to configure the signal on the device right we have to wait for it to do well its job the cart in theory the signal has stabilized here we turn off the wi-fi and uh, so in theory you know baba pros have quote on everything here right let's verify it now for that let's test to see if it can browse the internet yeah, yes, there it is. Oh, it browses the internet, no problem. Let's make a call. Let's check it. There it is. Welcome to the EME call center. It is our pleasure to assist you. Perfect. Yes, it allows calling. Good done. It worked with the MKSD Ultra. Now let's uh, test the card, the Hey card. This version of a Hey card has always worked for me. I recommend downloading and using it, right? Uh, but it always works for me. Now, if you are going to use the QP method, you have to use another model of Hey card, right? Okay, here I place it. I am going to place the SIM card. Let's place the SIM card in the tray perfect here it is now let's insert it into the device and well uh, we have to wait for the configuration menu or the menu of the uh, ab of the hay card to appear in order to configure yes and here in this version of hay card i use option number one which is set EMC auto unlock. Yes. And for it to work with a carrier I want to use in my country, I don't set T-Mobile in Haycard. I set Metro PCS. You can do this type of, of, of configuration. You can use Metro PCS or you can use Sprint or you can use T-Mobile or maybe Boost Mobile. You can also use it for the method to work for you as long as they are very similar carriers yes uh, you can apply those types of configurations and here still uh, well uh, it hasn't quite uh, uh, activated uh, what is the uh, the hay cars we'll see what happens uh, the signal is stabilizing i think the hay card is the one that uh, hmm, makes it a bit harder for the signal to stabilize right we'll see uh, we turn off the wi-fi let's see apparently we already have uh, apparently we already have everything right as you can see it suddenly dropped from lt to 3g mm. we'll see if the method is going to work we'll see and uh, well yes yes it is browsing the internet now the most important thing making a call let's make the call welcome to the na call center it is our pleasure to assist you ready it worked uh, without problems okay e 
well then the tricks tips requirements a eh, 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 mm, eh, important basic things i leave them in the video description at the bottom so you can check there well eh, what is needed if you see one need to know the original carrier of the device it, 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 in the video description i leave the links for you to learn how to check those details right and well subscribe to my channel activate the bell and with this you'll know when i upload a new video down there are links to telegram to whatsapp and if your questions doubts and comments and i will gladly answer them leave a big like to reach more people who need these methods right so see you take care until next time adios